Hey guys, we have an HP NV Photo 7855 printer today. Um, print of these reports, you can see that there's uh, color missing on here and on this report as well. So that's something that we are gonna try to fix right now. Um, first, you, what you want to do is uh, print those reports that I just showed and to do that, um, well, you don't have to do this step if you already know that you have which colors are giving you a problem. Is it black or the other three? Um, but in order to print a report, we're, we're going to need to go to uh, the settings over here on the very left. So we're going to press settings. And then the very left, up top, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom. Select reports. And to print report that shows all the information um, and it should have a color cartridge uh, color uh, nozzle check right here this report is called the printer status report and it's going to print that this uh, printer, printer quality diagnostics page um, it should have a whole block of a full length of the uh, each nozzle for the, for the black one and then for the color it should be here um, so in order to print that report you're going to select print quality report so again it just printed out this new uh, printer status report you see some black missing there even though in general it looks good but when we see the quality page over here it's um, you can see that the black is kind of it's either running out of ink or the nozzles are uh, clogged partially So here's the other one that we just printed. Same thing. So we need to check it, check out our cartridges. The second step that you would want to look into is um, check the ink levels. So over here on the screen, you have um, also from this drop down upper menu, you're going to select the ink right here. In my case, both ink cartridges are full. They're at least 80% full, and they should they should be working just fine. My ink cartridges are genuine HP brand, so and they haven't been refilled, so it basically is just showing me that I need to uh, go ahead and clean the cartridges. Uh, first thing that you want to do, um, I would honestly first go to manual cleaning by pulling the cartridges out and uh, cleaning the nozzles because uh, one of the cartridges is not showing at all. Um, also, you can do a clean print head cycle on here, but um, and that could resolve the issue. But most likely, if uh, one is fully clogged, you would need to do some manual cleaning, and it's not really that hard. To just go ahead and uh, skip the manual clean that I was going to do, um, I, I what you can do is just go to the automatic clean by also going to the menu, uh, select settings scroll down to maintenance printer maintenance right here and then the very first one you can see it says clean cartridges so you're going to press that and uh basically just going to say if uh, this process takes about one or two minutes this and that and so um in my case i'm just going to cancel for now um and start the manual uh the cleaning that i was going to show you okay so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and open the printer top as if we're uh, when we're doing the ink cartridge uh, replacement and this printer doesn't really roll anywhere so as soon as you open it it's available to pull out you're just gonna pull back like that pull this cartridge out same thing with this one pretty simple and then we can go ahead and close the top okay so this is the black cartridge. This is the nozzle for it right here. Okay, so what we want to do first is uh, check if there's um, ink on here. Well, black is going to show the stamp. So what, what I usually do for that is just spray some warm water. Or in my case, I just have a little bit of uh, window cleaner with some warm water. And we're just going to tap a little bit on here like that and the other thing is you just want to shake it down like this here just to kind of um, 
have the ink move in there a little bit. Here we go. Um, it should give a stamp of black ink like here. That looks like a good cartridge to me. So just put like swipe it back and forth with the um, with the way that it goes. Sorry, um, in the direction that it goes. So um, direction of the nozzle is like back like from front to back so you don't want to swipe it like this here you might damage the the nozzle itself it's pretty fragile and then shake it a little bit and then on the dry part I'm just gonna do a stamp my napkin is all wet now so looks good Okay, let's get to the um, to the color cartridge and do the same thing. It shows all, all three colors on here, even though on the paper nothing came out. So do the same thing. And also tap it. And then just clean back and forth in the direction that it goes. You can see the nozzle here is same length as the black cartridge. A little bit wider because it includes three colors on here. And do that for a little bit, especially in my case, this one is, was not producing any ink on the paper at all. And it is at least 90% full. Um, black is about 80% full. You can also put a little bit of solution or warm water with a little bit of window cleaner, for example, into a small dish and just let the ink cartridge sit there for maybe five, ten minutes. That's not going to hurt or drain any ink. It's not going to hurt the electronic part of it. Just don't submerge it it's, uh, fully, so just the about quarter inch. Um, that's if this method is not going to work. Alright, then we do a stamp. That looks pretty good. All three colors seem to be coming through. So we're going to test it at this point and see if anything comes on the paper. We're going to go ahead and open the top and install the ink cartridges. Here's the black one. Slide it in color and close the top so let's uh, just go ahead and print the report right now I'm gonna do the quality report so settings settings let's go down to reports I'm gonna print the quality report see what that looks like all three colors are on the page um, I would just do a quick clean of the black cartridge because you can see that it's still missing some spots the automatic printer cleaning would just purge some ink the negative side of it is just that it's gonna waste about 2% of your ink um, which is a lot but um, maybe less I'm not sure but it does kind of push through some ink in order to clean those nozzles and kind of get the air out. Well, we're still going to do that. Um, I wouldn't do too much of those cycles though. Let's try one and see how that goes. Colors came through very good. We see some lines on magenta, for example, one line on this cyan color. Um, that That's pretty good. So when you're going to print even a photo, you're not really going to see the color, but we do want it to be 100%. So let's see how it does after the cleaning. So once again, I'll just push you through this, uh, follow, um, lead you through this uh, cleaning where it's at. So we're going to go to the setup menu again. 
scroll down to printer maintenance, clean cartridges, and press continue. And give it about a minute or two. While it's doing that, just wanted to show you side by side. This is my first report, no color at all. You can see all of them right here. I was mistaken, I thought there's gonna be um, a block of three colors right here. There's each color um, right over here. So, um, and the black. So, the black looks about the same, maybe even worse, but um, hopefully that um, cleaning, automatic cleaning takes care of it. But the colors came through, so we have all colors right now. Just gonna do the cleaning for about a minute or two, and then um, we'll get back to the video. If we need to do more cleaning, I'll run it and under some hot, uh, warm water, and um, we'll see how that goes. After it's done cleaning, is doing the, uh, printing the cleaning page or the same quality report, the diagnostic page. Um, let's see if anything changed. So this is our first one. And this is the one that it printed right now. Black is the same, a little bit better. And colors are a little bit better. So you can see that it does push some through, but it doesn't really get it to um, where we need it. Um, with this quality, of course, you can print and you'll see, um, you'll be able to have everything printed, but you can see that there's lines in here you do not want that kind of quality. It's missing lines, a whole line of like sentence missing, so you don't want that. Um, so go ahead and uh, try uh, doing more of the cleaning like we did right now or uh, put it in solution for about five minutes, warm water with some Windex, for example, um, nothing harsh, or run it on, under some warm water, which I'm gonna do right now. All right, so for that, you don't want to just put, you're basically concentrating on the nozzle part. So just kind of like that here, um, let it warm up. And after that, tap it on some paper towel or a napkin and repeat the process a few times. If you have a very soft brush, you can also um, just kind of go over this nozzle area and help break up the dried um, nozzles. So it's just as simple as that. Um, run it for about a minute Before you put the cartridge back into the printer make sure you always um, Have this area dry So just tap on here uh, Make sure there isn't any if there's some water or moisture in there. That's no big deal just this contact area is what you're concerned about when you're putting the cartridge back in. Um, it's not gonna ruin the printer um, or the cartridge. Maybe it might short it if you have too much water on there, but usually it'll just give you an error. Um, less likely that it'll damage the electronic part of the printer or the cartridge. Have that. I have pretty warm water. It's closer to hot than warm. Um, you do not want to put like extremely hot water that can uh, damage the um, these fragile parts right here the nozzle itself and what's around it um, so just stick to warm water like on the hotter side <clears throat> but not too hot also do some shaking kind of to push the air out um, let's see how that went. Hopefully it, it's successful for me and for you. All right, let's print in the quality report. Wow, and check that out. Much better. You can see all the black cart, uh, <laughs> sorry, black ink everywhere. Um, 
printed out good from the beginning. The nozzle is not, um, the this whole block is not at 100%. It seems to me just that there's some air, uh, air in the, um, in the cartridge. To get rid of it, you can just shake the cartridge a little bit more, but, um, or clean the, um, clean, auto, do the automatic cleaning here. Actually, after we've done it last time, it's asking clean again, or you just want to be done, or you can clean again in order to get the air out. Um, but this is very satisfactory for me. All, everything looks good. Um, as I print a few pages, that should go away. And if it doesn't, I'll just repeat the process of just running under warm water or uh, cleaning with the paper towel. So <clears throat> hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, this process was a bit long, but hopefully it was entertaining or it will help you with your ink cartridge problem. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.